I really just took my entire experience of, of growing up and I kind of just cherry picked moments. You know, I knew a guy that was kind of like this, but then there was a side of this that was kind of funny. There was a guy I knew in college who was a botany major who, you know, was really into, um, he had a green thumb, I guess is a good way to say it. And, uh, you know, and then there was little bits and pieces of me and my relationships with my friends and teachers that I had. And yeah, I was the kid in high school who always would draw pictures of, of uh, my teachers in, in an unflattering way. And, uh, and I think in a weird way, this is just sort of the, the cinematic version of that. I, I was, teachers either loved me or hated me. I remember like reading these reports that would get sent to my mom and it was like, you must do something with your son. Like he is out of control. And then all of a sudden, like you read one, they'd be like, he is a joy to have in our class. He's, and then the other one, he is a disruption. You know, so. I think at the beginning, he's just sort of a guy that, you know, he's got his a job, he's got a responsibility, he's got a boss that is ridiculous and crazy, and, and he just sort of, you know, does this job because eh, it's his job. He's got a pretty simple existence. I think he likes the kids, but, you know, he is not pretending to be one of the kids, he's just sort of there. And then as time progresses and as the story unfolds, he just sort of gets looser and looser and looser and looser. And in a way, his character is, is really, I mean, so vital to the film because he's the barometer for the school in a yeah. way. No. And so as his character sort of decays and, you know, and becomes kind of freer and looser uh, and, and more unhinged, the school does as well. So yeah. he becomes the, the sort of, that's why we keep cutting back to Colin and we kind of see and you can extrapolate from there how, how you know, messed up the school He's is. able to hold on to just enough sanity to be yeah. able to, to sort of just function. Just right. enough clear headedness to be able to put two and two together. Right. Yeah, no, it was, it was really fun more than anything else. It was just a lot of fun to be able to just sort of slowly unwind and, and just sort of find those moments to sort of bring that up. Uh, you know, those kinds of things are, it, are always kind of fun. You always end up having sort of weird conversations of like, all right, so how gone are we right, right. now? Yeah, where like, was I before where this were, scene? Yeah, yeah. Where, where are we at that's, right now? I mean, like, really are we at a 10 yeah. or are we at a 7? <laughs> or That's what it is. What did we do at 4? I'm yeah. trying to remember You're at those kinds of things. Right yeah, now. exactly. Uh, I mean, that's really my job. I mean, it was my job to say, like, look, we have incredible actors. A lot of people say that, you know, casting is 50% of directing, or Billy Wilder said it was 90% of directing. And it is. You have great actors like these guys. Really just kind of help them remember sometimes, because you're shooting out a sequence, where you are in the context of the film. Oh, you just did this. It did, got it. You know, it's like you always have the script, and then as you're prepping it, things are changing, and as you're casting it, things are changing, and then you're talking about the characters, things are changing. Um, and then when you're shooting it, things are changing, and we come up with things, and I remember Colin grabbed some like a magnifying glass and you know, you're kind of playing with it. Like just yeah. kind of the, the props and you work with the, um, the set dressers and the production designers to really make the, um, the set come alive and the actors can interact with it. And, and uh, you know, it just kind of uh, play with it, I guess. Stuff sort of come, you know, stuff sort of boiled up to the surface. You know, I, I can't really say that we improved a lot, but I think everyone was having so much fun and, and were enjoying their characters and the stuff that they got to say. Like, I mean, I can speak for Chicky on this one is that, you know, I think Michael was having so much fun doing something so completely different yeah. and just making fun of the guy. Like, I'm going to make this guy so ridiculous right. and I'm going to enjoy doing it so much. And when you see someone else doing that, it's infectious. And then everybody else, you know, hopefully we're all professionals enough to make it look like we made it up on the spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, agreed. Well said.